welcome to the Graduate Report. Today we look into the creepy world of loving monkeys. It's science! People, get used to it. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. I wonder by studying monkeys what we'll be able to learn about ourselves. Ah! Yucky! In the 1950s, a scientist by the name of Harry Harlow experimented with monkeys. Though absolutely nothing in his research indicates or alludes to his fascination with monkeys has anything to do with his first name as being Harry, I cannot overlook that fact. Harry, monkeys have hair. I get it. Ha! Huh, funny joke, Danny. Huh. Ignoring the obvious cliche of jokes that probably filled his office, Harry decided to take infant baby monkeys away from their hairy mothers and put them instead with adoptive mothers made of terry cloth and wire. Yes, wire. He then noticed that the monkeys tended to prefer the terry cloth mothers. Who would have thunk that? Not I. Actually, no, I think it... I think if you had asked a four-year-old child, he probably would have said the monkey likes the cloth one better. Not being satisfied with the experiment, Harry then began to torment the tiny infant baby monkeys. One can only guess that he drew his inspiration for these experiments from his own childhood memories, perhaps never being called in Red Rover, Red Rover, or perhaps one too many dodgeballs to the groin. In any case, the results of the experiment concluded that monkeys, and possibly humans, require a motherly connection early in life in order to establish a baseline of comfort so that they could experience the world around them terror-free. You see, the monkeys that had the wire moms, they would just throw themselves on the ground, clutch and screaming, rocking back and forth, screaming and screaming in terror. The monkeys with the terry cloth moms would run to the terry cloth mom, give her a big hug, and get scared for a little bit, find comfort in her cloth, and then venture back out to figure out what that noise was that scared them. Which was usually a fascinated Harry Harlow with a horn, screaming, Red Rover, Red Rover, monkey, 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 monkey. Not happy with just those results, Harry Harlow decided to terrorize several generations of monkeys to learn that infants that had been deprived for 90 days of their mother were no longer able to establish that baseline of security that they need in order to socially interact normally with other monkeys. Final summation, Harry Harlow, the scientist, realize that babies need their mommies. I know, he's brilliant, isn't he? And that screaming at a monkey that's alone in a cage for 90 days will break him, permanent-like. So let's be nice to all the monkeys we know, especially the ones without the mommies. I love you. I know you guys would never do anything mean like that. That's why I love you so much. You want to see my monkey? I'll show him to you if you like. It's my monkey. It smells like lemonade. Don't you, monkey? Give kiss, monkey. Mm. Kiss a monkey.